Thank you all for, for being uh, here this morning, for joining us here at uh, the RTS headquarters and for joining us uh, digitally as, as well. I love being at RTS always. Um, the regional transit system is one of my favorite things about our community and certainly about our, our city operation. So I'm always happy to be here, but I wish I were not here today for this reason. Um, Several months ago, uh, the University of Florida and the city of Gainesville uh, uh, started conversations about the uh, about UF's participation, continued participation in uh, RTS funding and about um, the University of Florida's impacts on the RTS uh, overall system. And in March of this year, uh, just about a month and a half ago, uh, the University of Florida officials notified um, uh, city staff uh, of plans to significantly change that contract and to essentially cut UF's contribution in half. Uh, it's important to note um, upfront that the system as it currently exists has been in place since University of Florida student government leaders helped create this system in 1998. Of course, you see around us uh, here uh, in, in, in this room, um, 50 years of the history of RTS. We're really proud to, this Friday, be celebrating the 50th anniversary of the system. Since 1998, the University of Florida has been uh, intimately involved in, in funding the system. Because also since 1998, the University of Florida has been responsible for the vast majority of the ridership of our system. Right now, the University of Florida is responsible for 68% of RTS ridership. The University of Florida pays 48% of the total bill for RTS. 68% of the system, 48% of the bill. And what they're asking for now is to pay 25% instead of 48% of the bill. I think you can see the, the problem inherent in that. The thing that I will tell you uh, right here at the top is that that is not a sustainable action for the system. We will not be able to offer the level of service that our community is used to because this won't just affect University of Florida students, although they will be the primary, uh, pri primary folks uh, uh, affected by this. It will also obviously affect faculty and staff at the University of Florida but it will disproportionately affect the remainder of the system as well. Uh, I'll give you some detail about this, but I, we felt that at this point in the discussion, we needed to, in the interests of transparency and accountability, make sure that the entire community, including the University of Florida community, students, faculty, and staff, are aware of where we are in this discussion. Um, I'll tell you once again, this is not something that we can sustain if the University of Florida uh, makes the kind of cut that they have proposed. I love the city of Gainesville, obviously. So do these folks standing here with me. Um, that's some of my, my fellow commissioners, Commissioner Chestnut, Commissioner Eastman, Commissioner Willits. Commissioner Willits told me earlier, by the way, that he rode RTS here from, from his job on campus uh, a few minutes ago. We use the system. We're, we're part of this. Uh, I'm also joined by Zef Durham, who is president of the uh, uh, ATU uh, local, uh, the, the bus drivers uh, union here in, uh, in Gainesville, uh, city manager Cynthia Curry, um, uh, our transportation director Jesus Gomez, and our uh, chief operating officer for the city of Gainesville, Andrew Persons. We will be available for, uh, for some questions, but I'm gonna give you a website that will have all the detail as well. Again, in the interest of transparency and accountability, it was important to me as mayor and to the folks standing around me that we make sure the community is aware of this. Uh, we love the city of Gainesville. I love the University of Florida. I'm a UF alum. I am in no way here to bash the University of Florida. That is not my intent. We just need to have a public conversation about where we are with all of this. I believe we're going to get to a place where we make the system whole and, uh, and even more efficient and more reliable than it has been for the past 50 years. That's my goal here. And I believe we, we can get to that place with our partners, the University of Florida. I am not aware in all my conversations with mayors around the world of a better existing town gown partnership than RTS represents. Not a single one. The way RTS works is good for everyone in Gainesville 
That includes uh, folks in, uh, in East Gainesville and Northwest Gainesville, Southwest, all over Gainesville, folks benefit from the system as it is. Could it be better? You bet. But for a city our size, for a metropolitan area our size, it is terrific. It, and that is a testament to the folks who have, have put in the blood, sweat, and tears over the years to create this system, and the folks who every day show up to work here at the RTS facility, get in the buses and drive them around and make sure that they're in good condition and that they're on time and available for the folks in our community to use to be able to access the jobs and services that our community offers, including the University of Florida. But I will reiterate, 68% of our system usage this year is at the University of Florida. The University of Florida pays 48% of the current budget. They want to pay 25% of the current budget. That's not sustainable, and I believe we can do better than, than not sustainable. We're not gonna walk away from this amazing partnership. That's what I, I want you to, to know. We will find a way to make this happen. But you also need to know what will happen if these cuts go into effect. I'm gonna to read to you some of the, uh, the routes that will likely uh, be eliminated if we, uh, if we move ahead with this. And, and again, I'm hopeful that we will not move ahead with it. And actually, I'm missing a page here. Very good, thank you. So we would expect if we take this uh, $6.8 million cut or essentially 25% cut to the system, we will expect to have to cut uh, Route 17, Route 25, Route 28, Route 34, Route 46, and Route 150. Those affect uh, folks going from the uh, Rosa Parks Transportation to Beatty Towers, from the Wrights Union to the Gainesville Regional Airport, from Butler Plaza uh, Transfer Station to the Hub on campus, from the Hub on campus to the VA Medical Center, from the Wrights Union to Rosa Parks Transfer Station, and from Hale Village to the Wrights Union. I'll give you those routes again, even though we, we've distributed them already. Elimination as of July 1, under this current proposal, would be Route 17, 25, 28, 34, 46, and 150. We would see a reduction in services if this plan moved forward as is, which I don't expect, but if it did, we would have to reduce services on Route 1, Route 5, Route 8, Route 9, Route 12, Route 16, Route 20, Route 21, Route 33, Route 35, and Route 38. Nobody is interested in actually doing this. We, we don't want to reduce services. We don't want to cut routes. I don't think the University of Florida wants that either. We want to, we must, find a different way. We must find a different approach from the University of Florida. Uh, what the University of Florida pays is paid out of student, uh, student fees every credit hour. Uh, University of Florida students pay a, a transportation fee. And that's what the University of Florida pays to the city of Gainesville to help operate RTS. I will tell you as the parent of a UF student right now, um, that is actually being paid by every student per credit hour. So I don't think there's any reduction forthcoming in, in that. Um, I also don't know how anybody could set up a, a new transit system in two and a half months to take the place of what currently exists. So I'm hopeful that this is just the beginning, a late beginning, but the beginning of a negotiation. And I'm hopeful that we will be able to continue what has been an award-winning partnership that we should all be very, very proud of. Uh, there are many, many details. I'm gonna refer you, anyone watching at home or in your office, um, to go to gainesvillefl.gov, gainesvillefl.gov slash RTS budget. That's gainesvillefl.gov slash RTS budget. All the detail is there. If you're here in the room with us, you've got uh, the detail on paper as well. And if there are any questions, I'm happy to try to answer those questions. And if I can't answer them, we'll refer to staff. And if we don't have the answer here, then we will uh, absolutely reach back out to you with the answers. The biggest takeaway, um, I would say, is that uh, we intend to find a way to work with our partners at the University of Florida to continue the service, but that the offer that they have made is not going to work 
and, and there are very real world results that will, will flow from that offer and you, you have those, uh, those consequences uh, in your hands. This is not a threat. This is just the real world consequences of the numbers that have been floated. When this model was started back in 1998, it was uh, a model for the state of Florida and for the nation to show how you could have a partnership with your city, city government, and transit uh, and get students to and fro from campus. And uh, I was so proud to see it because it was revolutionary. Funded by students, funded by students through their student activity fee. Now today, as a mother, I would find great comfort in knowing that my son, uh, my daughter, could jump on a bus anywhere, anywhere in Gainesville and get from that destination to where they were going back to campus. I think the mayor was reading off some of the uh, places, uh, routes that we would have to cut, but just imagine, we have students who would do this, who would take, uh, in order to get home, they would go from the university out to the airport. You can do that. That is just unbelievable. But there's comfort in knowing that there's safety. A parent can feel very safe that their child can, uh, can do this in, in the city. This is very drastic. Um, I don't think we've ever faced this before. But to take student fees and where they have directed these fees and to say that now you're going to cut these routes is just unbelievable. I mean, you just think about it. You can get from Hale Village to the Rights Union on the bus. Also, think about the people who are working every day, who we are trying to keep in jobs, who are depending on the transit system and the wonderful transit drivers to get them to and from work. We must, we must not allow this. This is a clarion call to students. This is a clarion call to our citizens. This is a clarion call to every parent across Florida with a child here at the University of Florida. Come to their rescue. Thank you. Hello. My name is Zephnia Durham III. And I'm the local union president, local 1579 ATU. And uh, I'm a Gainesville citizen. I was born in Little Shands. And I've used the RTS system as early as the early 60s. So I can remember when if you missed a bus, you had to wait another hour for another bus to come to get you where you were going. And as a union president, I'm privy to all of the other agencies within the United States and Canada, and they have always envied what we have here in little old Gainesville. And I think it's a tragedy that we would even propose such cuts to such a wonderful system. Uh, I represent the, the drivers, the mechanics, and everyone that will be affected by these cuts. And uh, I'm losing, losing sleep at night now because uh, I had never envisioned this happening within my term as president of the local union because we have such a wonderful partnership with the University of Florida. Uh, I'm a veteran, so I know veterans use the service. Uh, I know the people that are gonna be hurt the most uh, you know, uh, people that are trying to get to work. Uh, we even had professors that would catch the Route 43, and I can remember as a driver, loved RTS because they didn't have to deal with all the parking and the crazy traffic that they endured on the university's campus. But our drivers were there every day getting them there safely, and we had become an extremely reliable source of transportation for the whole city of Gainesville. And uh, I'm asking the community, uh, you know who you are, uh, your church members, uh, your any kind of association that you're dealing with, please let your voice be heard. And let's not have this travesty happen here today or ever. Uh, thank you very much, that's all I have to say.
So let me add just one quick thing. Uh, if you're watching uh, later on the news or you read about this and it occurs to you, well, I don't ride the bus. By the way, I do ride the bus. I, I, I love RTS. Um, it does affect you. It affects you because if people can't ride the bus, if a bus full of students can't ride the bus to campus or across campus, they're not going to stop coming to campus. They're not going to stop going to class. Don't stop going to class, students. That, that's <laughs> um, they're going to drive cars. Um, and those cars are going to take up space on University Avenue and 13th Street and 24th Avenue and 20th Avenue and 34th Street, et cetera, et cetera. So even if you don't take advantage of the system right now, you benefit from the system. You benefit from, from easier traffic, uh, easier, shorter commutes than you would if the system were not the robust system that it is. Again, we're not going to get to a place where, where this is a reality, I don't believe. I believe we're going to be able to negotiate a good result with the University of Florida because the University of Florida, I believe, at its root, cares about the community that surrounds it. So I'm hopeful that, that we're going to be able to come to a, a satisfying conclusion for all the people who live in our community um, sooner than later.